The next step is to add the agent, the E2 agent, into your CRM. So we will walk through that. Um, the first thing that you need to know is some information um, from both Customer Dynamics and from your, your, from your uh, CRMSs. So we have three standard pieces of information and we have a CD tenant ID. So this is your tenant ID from Customer Dynamics. Uh, that, along with your username and password, should have been given to you prior to setting up the channel integration framework. Now, what you'll need to do is in your CRM, go ahead and go into advanced settings because you need your org ID also. And the org ID is available under settings and customizations from the developer resources. So settings, customizations, developer resources. In the developer resources, you can get your org ID under instance reference information. It is a GUID, so you can look for the uh, format. And I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to save it down here for later use. All right, now let's go back in and configure the channel integration framework so you can get the E2 app inside your applications. Up here, I'm going to click on the app selector and go into the SIF um, application, channel integration framework. And this is where we add a channel provider. And a channel provider is just any um, application, SIF application. So the E2 agent is a channel. So under channel providers, we click new and you can see name, label, channel. These are the information that we had gathered. So the name does matter as customer, uh, I mean the contact center E2. That no one will see except for um, right here. The label is what agency and this can be anything you want. I'm just going to set it to uh, contact center E2 agent but again you can set it to anything you want. And under channel um, URL this is the base URL for the E2 application. However you also need your CRM URL. So I'm copying that right now. Uh, we have a development uh, URL that we put in. Um, so this would be your actual URL that, that you are installing the E2 agent on. But I'm grabbing this whole thing and putting it on and putting it in there. So let me explain this uh, for a second. This is where the E2 application lives and this is saying Go ahead and get the um, app, the application library, meaning the interface between our application and um, the unified client interface library. Go ahead and get it from your CRM. So that's what we put in the whole thing in there. We want to change enable outbound communication to yes. That is going to be your click to call, your click to text, and your emails channel order we're just going to go ahead and put it in one and you can leave the api at 1.0 um, or if you are using one of the advanced um, applications in microsoft that requires 2.0 it'll work in either one as far as trusted domains so we're downloading the library or using the, the uci library to to talk to um your CRM, but we also have to say it's a trusted uh, domain. So we can call those those commands from that library and, and uh, it will respond to us. All right, under the custom parameters, we need to take the two items uh, from the information we gathered, meaning the tenant ID, so that's customer dynamics tenant ID, and this is just one of our development tenants. Um, and the org ID of this org, and 
put a pipe in between them, and those are our custom parameters. All right, so at this point, go ahead and save the channel because this channel is actually configured. Now we have to say, where do we want it to show? So in the applications, again, if I click down on the application selector, we want to know what of our installed applications do we want the E2 agent to show. Um, if you have a custom application, you can have, have it showed in there or shown in there. The only one we're going to want to show it in is the customer service hub. So I'm going to go ahead and select the customer service hub in here. Um, you could select as many as you want. So if I could select a uh, resource scheduling, uh, it'd show up there. But we only want one for this example. So now that will show up. And if I don't select roles, it will show up for everybody. Um, and that may be what you want, or you may want to limit it to just one or two roles. Say your customer service reps, um, and you know maybe your system admins. Um, but obviously, system admin gets it uh, automatically. So let's say the forecast app user. So at this point, those are the only two um, roles that will see the the E2 application. So we're going to go ahead and save and close that. And we're going to go back into the channel, uh, the application customer service hub, and we are going to verify that we see it. So it's already showing up here. You can see customer service hub E2 agent. It won't fully load because there's some um, information we need. Um, and you can see that, that this is came up and, and gave us an error. So we're going to go ahead and continue on to the next step. Thank you.